you know, in going through the search process, uh, we talked to a number of uh, individuals, uh, including uh, Samantha's former head coach at DePaul, who's with us today, uh, Doug Bruno, and he classified her as a future female coaching star in the making, and, uh, and that she was ready to become a head coach. Uh, Brian said the same thing. Uh, as uh, Samantha served as an assistant coach uh, this past season for the 17 and 14 Saints. And those are, uh, and then Doug also said that she watched uh, as much film as the coaches <laughs> and uh, that she was a coach on the, on the floor for five years, obviously as the point guard of the Blue Demon program. He even went as far as saying that Samantha was uh, doing more coaching than he was at times. <laughs> um, but those are the exact uh, same things uh, that our search committee found uh, during the uh, long and thorough process of, of naming the next coach uh, for our St. Francis women's basketball program. Now if Sam's smart, She'll, uh, she'll go out and recruit uh, somebody who will break her mother's career record. <laughs> that may get her mother upset, but, <laughs> but uh, I, I think that would be a good start. And, and the thing that's important, I know Brian did a lot of the, um, you know, uh, the game day coaching uh, and in the practices and stuff, but he allowed uh, Samantha to do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, the scouting of the other opponents, uh, you know, the recruiting uh, of the student athletes for the future of the program, and I think that was another important thing. Uh, despite not knowing that uh, she was uh, going to get the position, uh, we had three uh, student athletes, high school standouts, uh, that made the determination that no matter who was going to be here as the head coach, that they felt it uh, very important that uh, St. Francis was the right fit for them. Uh, and I think Sam sold them on that and, and did a great job. And, and there were others just waiting in the wings to see if Samantha was going to be named the head coach. And, and those individuals are, are starting to sign now. Um, I stated back in September uh, when we did the, the search the first time that one, the, one of the top goals of our athletics program has always been to find the best coaches possible that will serve our university and our student athletes well for years to come and that we wouldn't settle for anything less. Um, that's why we redid the search uh, in March because we didn't feel uh, the candidates that we had, uh, some of them with very impressive resumes, were the right fit for St. Francis. Um, that was, the, that was the job of the task force. We needed to find that person that would provide stability to our program that really needed it. And today, to take the words from uh, Doug Bruno, I believe and the committee believes that we have found the future female coaching star in Samantha Quigley. Please join me in welcoming... Uh, <laughs> um, well, I guess I just want to start by saying um, thank you to everyone that was involved um, in the whole search process. Um, you know, people like Coach Bruno really got me um, to where I am today. Um, and just having this past year as an experience with Coach Mahalik, um, who is also my uncle. <laughs> I don't know if everyone knows that. You do know. That was just, um, you know, it was a great experience as a, as a first-year assistant um, to be in that position where, you know, Brian was coaching two teams. So I really got, I really got that head coaching experience, I think, even as an assistant, um, being able to recruit that much. Um, I don't know how many, you know, assistants in the nation were, were doing all the recruiting for their program. So um, it was a great experience, and it was fun. Um, we keep it in the family. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun, and, you know, I'm really excited for this opportunity, and, uh, you know, I really just can't wait for for things to get started. They already have, so um, we had open gym last night, um, had about five or six of our girls there, so, um, you know, we're just excited for next year. I have a question for you, Sam. Yep. Uh, pretty young, 24. 
Uh, <laughs> how, how, do you think that helps or hurts, or how does that affect you as a head coach? You know, I really think it helps, and uh, you know, I, I talk about it a lot. You know, throughout the interview process, I really felt like I've been a coach for the past ten years because I've been a point guard, and I know, you know, if you know basketball, you know how important I think that position is, and you know how that really is someone who's an extension of the coaching staff. Um, you know, and being at DePaul and, and getting that experience with our coaching staff. Um, you know, even when I left there, I was on the phone with them every other day, <laughs> talking to Coach Bruno, um, talking to our former assistant, um, Nikki Hayes, and, uh, and one of the other assistants, Bart Brooks. Those were, those were people I was always in contact with constantly, asking them questions about recruiting, um, you know, just daily things in the coaching, you know, coaching experience. So. Sam, what about the, your family's ties to St. Francis and everything? Is this kind of a... Call it, a, call it a dream job or something for your first year? You know, it really is. And, and we live right down Taylor Street, so, you know, I can run here. <laughs> so, so this is just so cool for us. I think um, as a family, just we've always been connected here. Like Dave said, I was always calling him over the summer, asking, can I get in the weight room? Can we, can we get on the floor and shoot? Um, so it's always been a home for us. Um, I just can remember being like, you know, six and seven years old and like bringing our friends here and we would just be like, follow us, we know where to go. <laughs> like, we, yeah, like we do anything. But, um, you know, USF has always been a part of us. Um, and, you know, that obviously starts with our parents. Um, you know, my mom, uh, my late father, and then our stepfather who also also went here. So, What do you think of Brian now that you had to spend a year in his assistant class? The press conference is over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he your favorite <laughs> 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 Since he's here, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know what? He was he was a great person to be under. Uh, you know, the first year, um, and with him juggling two sports, I'm sure it was difficult at times. Um, but you know, I really think that we did we did a great job of teaming up and you know getting things done when when the schedule was tight and you know he had to be down. I think it was in Arkansas they had a trip, um, and you know me and Kaz kind of taking that practice or those two practices when he couldn't be there. Um, you know, and it was all just about communicating, and um, I think we had a, had a fun time doing it, so I think that was most important. What about teaching the, uh, the fine points to the big, the big players, the post players? Is that uh, something that you feel, feel comfortable with? Um, you know, I do, and I think that was something during practice, um, you know, we would kind of do all the time, you know, and I would always be looking down there, what are they doing down there, you know? Um, you know, it's always something you kind of wonder about. You're always on, on the other side you know, doing the guard stuff, but it, it's nice to sit down, I think, and watch, um, and even during, you know, Coach Bruno's coaching clinics, um, we would do post things as well, so, you know, I feel comfortable in that situation as well, and, you know, with our assistants, with Kaz, um, and we also um, picked up Dan McCarthy, um, you know, those will be two people that can really help in those areas. St. Francis, being a small college and everything, you know, what, what level of kid, um, both Obviously, scholastically, you want to find kids that are that have it scholastically. But what what level of player do you think you can can attract here? Um, you know, I think we can attract any level of player, and that's going to be something I really focus on um, in our recruiting process. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna not recruit you know a player because she might be a Division One player because um, then we wouldn't be doing our jobs. I think that you know those are the kind of players that you know we might need to concentrate on a little more. Um, I know that there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of players in the Chicagoland area that want to stay here. Um, and, you know, there might not be a Division One program that's interested in them around here. So um, I think the NAI level can compete um, at the D2, the NCAA D2 level, and even maybe some of the small D1 levels. So, you know, I think those are the kind of players that um, we can really focus on getting.